hiring picked up in a big way in February, according to the government's monthly jobs report. 379,000 new positions were added to the economy, much more than expected. Most of the jobs were in the hospitality industry as restaurants, bars, and hotels began to hire back workers. Despite these monthly gains, millions of workers remain unemployed or underemployed, and economists expect a full recovery is still a ways away. The nation's unemployment rate fell slightly to 6.2%, but the unemployment rate for Black Americans rose last month to 9.9 percent. Helping to put New Jerseyans back to work is one of the goals of Governor Murphy's newly named New Jersey Council on the Green Economy. The group is tasked with developing plans to expand the green economy and train workers. The council's executive director, Jane Cohen, wants to enable workers to transition into new clean energy careers. So for folks who have uh, lost their jobs for, for whatever reason, because of the pandemic, um, or who, who will be transitioning from traditional energy jobs into clean energy jobs, for folks who have been traditionally underemployed, we are really working on what kinds of trainings we need to ensure that all of those folks will have opportunities in the clean energy economy. Contract talks are just getting underway for union workers at Newark Airport. Negotiations begin after a troubling year for the airline industry as the pandemic grounded many flights and led to thousands of layoffs. During a virtual Zoom rally to mark the start of the talks, workers said they're looking for improved health care benefits and worker safety protections. And they pointed out that airlines received billions in COVID relief money from the federal government. There are more places to get COVID-19 vaccines in New Jersey as of today. CVS has added 100 additional locations in the state. And Wegmans is also offering vaccines now, although appointments booked up quickly. Now here's a check on trading action on Wall Street. I'm Rhonda Schaffler, and those are your top business stories. Support for the business report provided by J.P. Morgan Chase, a provider of investment banking and financial services for consumers and small businesses, commercial banking, financial transaction processing, and asset management.